Okay. Yeah, this is the fun part of the game, getting all the weapon upgrades. Man, we already got three, and we're like, what, an hour into the game? Yeah, I forgot how fast this game moves. Yeah, I think I can too. Yeah. Yeah, you can jump and shoot. Get a nice little AOE. Kill some basic enemies, or at least help if I'm surrounded. Okay, I think there's, no, there's nothing under the stairs, is there? No. Wait, there's that thing. That probably wants metalhead skull gems. Yep. Yeah, I think all those give are precursor orbs too. Uh, go this way? Oh, well, at least I can get some ammo really quick. Okay, full on that, full on that, okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Probably, I'm trying to, man, I've played this game so many times too, and I just can't remember anything. I'm willing to bet these platforms go under the lava mid-combat. Um, I don't want to summon, well, we'll just do it to get the thing out, yeah. Dark bomb. Go ahead and use his AOE on these guys. Yeah, uh, I hate to hit one I shouldn't have, but it's not the end of the world. I can't remember. So I know the, I know you get your blue, you know, the mini gun essentially. I'm trying to remember um, if you get the peacemaker or not again. I want to say yes, because that sounds right. That you should get the peacemaker at least. At least I think you do. Okay, two combats down, one to go. You do get the peacemaker. Okay. Does it have upgrades? I want to say it does. I mean, I'd say it does. Every other gun in the game gets an upgrade. Blue gun, blue one gets auto aim. Yeah, I remember it shoots like the little rockets. I remember that. Everything else is kind of like a haze. I can't believe you two are still alive. Yeah, what a surprise. Demos and I are very impressed. Hey, feather butt, who appointed you king? He did. Well, almost. Kind of a semi-king. You know, you should see our sleeping quarters and his harem of lovebirds. <laughs> I never get any sleep these days. <laughs> It's Jesus. Good to be the king, no? I don't see no crown on that fat feather head. You want a crown? I'll crown you. Don't make me come down there from this perch. I got a perch for you, Birdie, right here. Twirler. That's it. It's go time. Bring it on, Bird Ring. Enough. Oh, and there's another weapon upgrade fight? right there. I would have commanded it. You did very well, Jack. You make me proud that our training program is so good. Here is your second battle amulet. They're kind of more on the nose with uh, win, his secret. True Just a little bit more. You know there's something going on there. Uh, okay, can't go that way. What? Let's see here. Oh, this is the one where it bounces off the walls. Yep. The best the best choice like I don't understand why you would pick this over the the regular fire over the bounce the bounce is just too good I guess I could have gone the other way I thought that door was just closed do that and pretty much hit everybody in the room I'm glad it definitely did weapon. Up Imagine some of the weapon upgrades like in Jack 2, how broken that would be. Cause some of those, some of those areas get so rough. And then if you use the weapon upgrades, oh my God. The old one is super expensive. You rotate, jump shoot each, oh, the bounces cost. Yeah, it does. Oh my god, I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew the bounce costs one. It costs a, a shot. Damn. Okay. 
Uh, let's see here. We should be able to. I think Sig shows up eventually. Job for us, but I'm no babysitter, so stay out of my way. Jack's not afraid of you. Are you, Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid, all right. What's going on here? Nothing, your lordship. Just offering Jack and the little one here some healthy advice. You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. He kn he knows but that. Is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Also, I want you and Cleaver to go into the desert and herd a group of lizards into a waiting transport. We must prepare for whatever lies ahead. I need all the resources we can gather. No problem. I'm good with animals. I'll see you out there. Ciao. <laughs> also, like that one, Damus knows that Jack's his son. He knows that. It's no secret to him. So I don't know why he would say something like that, but whatever. Um. As for my question is, where did the, how did they get the kid from here? How did they get young Jack from here? You know, that's what I'd like to know. Like, I kind of wish they would elaborate it on that a little bit, besides just the kid showing up with uh, the Metalhead leader. It might, he might say something later, maybe. I don't know if he will, but he might. That's kind of like a story beat they left out conveniently. Okay, come on. Oh, let me, I'm gonna look at the map really quick. See how, oh my god. Okay. I forgot it being this big. This goes that's the light eco temple at the bottom right. Okay, so they almost got two maps in here. You got the you got the desert, then you got the uh the city. Okay, drive up close to the leaper. Come on, he's right here at the fence. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Yeah, there we go. Now I remember. Oh, don't drive into the... Okay, don't send him towards the cacti. Okay, whoops. Okay, only I can drive over the cacti. All right. Uh, let's see here. Slow down. Okay, there's one. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you go into that top left quadrant. Maybe that's like where the last boss fight takes place. I'm not sure. You need to get closer, Jack. I know, Daxter. Shut up. Nope. Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. These these things run loose. Like, they'll drift to the left or right on me. Is it? Man. I don't know, then. I really don't know. It might just be, like, I've ran through these games so fast, I just don't remember the small details. Oh, God. Nope. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, that's probably the emulator going or the ROM kind of having bad loads on those graphical errors. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to admit, you got some talent, kid. Have another one of me vehicles. You earned it. Damn straight. Would it be too much to ask for a foot rub? Uh... No, nope, didn't think so. All right, now we got the hopper. Hell yes. Yeah, I remember this. 
Okay, now we can go to the Light Eco Temple. Do we get our Light Eco powers like that? What, what were the powers? Heal, Wings, Time, Freeze? I think Freezing Time was one. There was four powers. I might not have used one of them. Well, come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, some of these vehicles are a little awkward. Just a little bit. No, I don't think we get our light eco power here. I think we... I think it's on our second trip here, maybe. Unless I'm crazy. I might be crazy. But I do know you go here at least once or twice and not, you don't get anything. It's probably either here at the beginning or at the end. He'll fly invisibility in time freeze. Yep, that's what it was. I think it was invisibility. Oh no, fuck, I wasn't. I didn't, how, how are you supposed to see that? That just comes out of nowhere on you. It's a blind curve. That's a blind ass curve, y'all. All right. Yeah, I think it is invisibility because the eyes will see you and you have to get by them. I think that's how that works. But I don't think I don't think we get the first power here. I think it's the second visit. I don't like exactly remember, but something tells me that's what it is. Um, okay. The lighting looks really good. Like the flames on the walls and stuff. That's actually pretty good. Oh, shit. That's actually pretty good. Not RTX level stuff, but, um, still pretty good for the time in the console. Anything in there? Oh, okay. All right. I did not know that. And just break those open, get some skull gems out of them. Steepest steps, yeah, really. Well, they're 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 made for. Uh, I don't even know who they're made for, honestly. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. I thought I was gonna fall off there. Um, there's no way I can use that. Are you see? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Yeah, these are god, these are steep. <laughs> yeah. Bro, if you fall down those, you're not breaking a hip, you're breaking everything. God, when I was working in the ICU, we had this one old lady. I felt so bad for her. She had fallen down the stairs. And she was bruised all the fuck up. I mean, it was terrible. I felt so bad for her because it was she was just black and blue everywhere and we just watched her we just watched her overnight I think but I do remember her because uh it's just one of those things that's like a, a lot of old people they die they they fall they break something or they fall and their body just can't recover you know we sent her she was fine though thankfully but man she looked like shit i'm not gonna lie she looked awful god so you said they lost an expedition of monks on the volcano i bet they built these gliders to reach the top yeah lost being the operative word if they vanished don't you think that was a sign hello yeah but you've got me all we have to do is hit those accelerator rings and we're golden oh no. See any feathers here? Looks like fur to me. No feathers, no fly of the axle. There's no way you're gonna get me on some precursor monk crap. Absolutely zippo chance. Forget it, finito. Fat chance. Not gonna happen. Nope. Nah. -uh. Never. <laughs> yeah! 
Man, they tried a lot of different things in here, didn't they? They tried a lot of different stuff in the game. Oh yeah, if I miss one of these, I'm just screwed. Oh god, the flight controls are inverted, kind of. Yeah, up is down, and down is up. Oh god. Okay. I just wasn't prepared for it. Was not prepared for it. I mean, they they give you a whole overview of the map, which is really nice. I mean, it's desert. That's about it. But hey. Also, the wasteland is an island. From what I can tell, it's just an island. Okay, come on. Come on. Don't run out on me, please. Thank you. Ooh, there we go. Uh, what? Did I miss something? Oh, I missed that airstream. Damn it. I, I just feel like I did not see it. That's on me. Oh, at least we start here, I guess. Wait, did it move us up anyway? It might have. <laughs> yeah, missed that airstream like an idiot. Oh my God. That one did not want me to go through it. You know, all these precursor artifacts are activated via gunfire. That's amazing. <laughs> It, it, it proves the age-old uh, point just like whatever if you need something to work you just shoot it doors in sci-fi movies precursor artifacts just anything if you need it to work just shoot it Okay, come on. We get it. He can fly. I wonder if this is where they got inspiration for the uh, the flying machine from for Assassin's Creed 2. If they looked at Jack and they're like, hey, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Well, now we can't go back the way we came. Let's go check it out. Right behind you, partner. Far behind you. All right, before we go any further, I'm going to get me a cup of coffee because I need it. So I will be back in a moment. We are back. There we go. Uh, there we go. Find my controller. Okay, so yeah, that thing sees us. 
Yeah, so this is probably, I guess we do get our first uh, light eco power, huh? Either way. Oh boy, metalheads. I should just use a shotgun on those dudes because they're going to die really easy. And we can start buying those like little treasure statue things around the uh, desert. I guess or, for precursor orbs or something. Like, I mean, to me, that'd be a good opportunity for them just to like throw like concept art or something in there. You know? Ugh. Throwing concept art in those uh, instead of like whatever's coming out would have been good. But we'll see. I don't even remember what's in them. There's probably like the upgrade or the rewards probably get better and better the more of them you open. Ooh, that leaper lizard could come in handy. Uh, okay, this looks like literally like it's in Jurassic Park almost. Like all tropical trees and then a lava area. I mean, I understand we're in a volcano. Oh, that's new. Yep. Oh, you're gonna take more than one hit, okay. Oh shit, wasn't ready for that. Did you up cheating? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I just kinda, I got the dark bomb, the one where you jump and spin, and then the last upgrade I got was the invincible, like Dark Jack is invincible. Because I don't think the game, like, it has any more upgrades for you to get because like all the metalhead skull gems you can only get so many so i think i got all the upgrades uh where did that leaper go he went around here didn't he i hear him yeah there he is oh do i really need to go and not actually catch him yeah okay there we go but yeah, like the, I got the Dark Jack invincibility. Not like legit think that's the last one because it, it makes sense. You know, you can't get oh sh ooh that was close. Um, I don't need that. Um, like you can't farm metalhead skull gems in like the sense of like just keep killing them over and over again because like they just won't drop the skull gems if you've already gotten the skull gem from them. I don't know why I went the other way. Oh God. I think these things got a good jump on them. Too easy. <laughs> I love that gun, dude. The bullets bounce and they just hit everything. It's a guarantee you don't miss. Love it. Love it, love it. Wait here. I'll be back. Man, you get to play as Jack or as a Daxter a lot. I'll call him Jackster. <laughs> I should have enough time to get by this one. Yeah. I guess they took inspiration from the Ratchet and Clank where Clank gets his own levels here and there. Oh shit. Okay, well apparently Daxter punches really hard. No, oh, uh, he was hiding on me. I saw him last second. No, what? Why wouldn't it let me double jump? Oh, well, whoops. Okay, whatever, whatever. It's fine. Okay, those two came up at the same time. Hey, come on, where's that one? There we go. You hated the clank missions? They were okay. The ones I actually enjoyed were the ones where you can control a bunch of uh, minions. 
Like he would have like minion bots and they would be different per game, I think. Like some of the minion bots were like, like we're all, like some of them were like really specialized as opposed to like, what the fuck? It won't let me double jump there. Oh, whoops. It won't let, like that's the second time in a row. I wonder if it's that, I wonder if you can't, just can't jump from that platform or double jump from that platform. But uh, I remember like you would get the bridge robot and stuff like that. That's, those are the ones I liked. And then um, I'm trying to remember what other ones. I know like in the classic, like classic Ratchet and Clank one, um, you know, those, da those uh, Clank missions were not that good. They just, re they just weren't. What the fuck, dude? What is going on? Hold on, let me try on this first platform if I can double jump or mid. Maybe I just can't and I keep treating it as if I can. Maybe that's why I'm messing up. That could be it. Man, his, his jumps feel a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Let me get on the platform. No, you can't. Well, yeah. what? I can double jump there, but other times I can't. I don't get it. Maybe it's counting me as being in air, but I just, okay, I'm gonna take it slow here and careful. That way we don't have to do that a fourth time. Okay, Jesus. No, what it was is I guess the platform, like when it tilted, I think I would I would jump here at the top but in the game I'm already off the platform and it counted that as my second jump that's what I'm thinking as my mid-air jump that's what I'm thinking happened either way we got past it but that was getting annoying Yeah, I might, like, maybe after, it'll be next year sometime, but maybe after, after I do all the Metal Gears, all the, uh, and all the, uh, Legend of Zeldas, I might go and do all the Ratchet and Clanks, maybe. I'm still on the fence, like, I, the problem is I've, like, replayed all those really recently, like, within the past five years, same as this, but I don't know, I might go do it, just go ahead and just do it. Maybe that's what I'll be known for on Twitch playing all the old PS2 classics. Man, crap. But I do want to play... Well, come on. I do want to play uh, all the Legend of Zeldas. I've only played three of them, which are Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and um, Breath of the Wild. Those are the only three I've played. I kind of want to play the other ones too, but like I have Skyward Sword on the Switch, I just haven't touched it. I need, a, I need, a, I need a capture card first. Then I can just emulate all the other ones. Oh no! I mean, I'm I've stayed good on ammo thus far. I can probably just keep using this even though it, can, it counts the bounce shots. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Do I have to do everything? Oh boy. But yeah, I'd prefer to get a capture card and play all these things on the console. Oh, ooh, no, God. On the uh, consoles. I would just prefer it personally. That way, one, I already have a capture card in case, like, I can't emulate, like, a newer game or something. But most stuff does come out on PC anyway. But, like, some of those that are, like, really exclusive. Like I'll need a capture card for. 
Which is like, we kind of live in this like weird thing where like we're kind of getting close to where nobody will buy a console anymore because because PlayStation's putting all their games on Steam. 